For artist William Ajete Wilson, the story of migration is a personal one. Born to a French mother and a West African father, William turned to art to understand his personal history. It was my first concern yeah, uh, to know more about who I am, especially because my, my father didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. And uh, in fact, I think that it has a big influence in my life, yeah, these secret things. Yeah. And so it was important. Inspired by an influential trip back to Africa during his late teenage years, William decided to create a series of 18 textiles telling the history of slave migration. His work, called The Black Ocean, spans 500 years of African history. And William says the effects of those actions are still being felt today. This history is so present, you know, it's not the past. And yeah, if, of course, we think about slavery, it seems very far, or colonization for, for Europe seems far. But in fact, there is many, many consequences right now. William is not the only artist in this exhibition to touch on the issue of slavery and the forced migration of African peoples. Other creators explored the roles of slaves in the U.S. South with images of cotton picking and hanging strands of darkened cotton. But the issue of migration is hardly confined to Africa's past. With the fast-paced exodus of people from Syria and other war-torn nations, Europe is facing a refugee crisis today. Artist Penny Matier says this exhibition was the perfect opportunity to bring the plight of those people to light. I think that art is vitally important in telling the stories of humankind. I think it is vitally important in telling the stories of what is happening in the refugee crisis, and with migration, with questions of immigration. Um, and it, I believe, I as an artist, have a moral obligation to tell these stories. And one of my passions is hopefully that more artists will really start to think about creating work um, more along these lines. And the U.S. is experiencing its own migration crisis, with illegal immigration between the U.S. and Mexico a contentious issue in this year's election campaign. Mexican-American artist Consuelo Jimenez Underwood grew up crossing the border. In her work, Consuelo uses flowers to show the unnaturalness of separating people by borders. My work is to bring these flowers together to see what they can do in the D.C. area, where they make policy. Can they do anything about their documentation? These flowers are not documented. They grow on both sides, the California poppy, the yucca from New Mexico, the saguaro from Arizona, and the Texas blue bonnet. They're all there. They don't have papers. They don't know what to do. They don't know what side to go on. Museum curator Lee Talbot says when he and his colleagues began pulling this exhibition together two and a half years ago, they had no idea migration would come to be the hot topic it is around the globe today. I mean, it's something that we hear about in the news. Uh, we have contact every day with people who've come from different cultures and have come here for different reasons. He says that every visitor can find a connection to the art on display. All of us are diasporans. All of us um, have migrated uh, from one place to another. It's a central part of human history. With the migration crisis showing no sign of slowing down, this exhibit here in Washington is timely. Curators say that the textile format is the best match to tell stories of migration. That's because cloths and fabrics like those on display today are relatively mobile and likely the only form of art that migrants could take with them when they moved. Rebecca Foster, SABC News, Washington.